Welcome to Bhutan, a country in the Himalayas. Today we're going to be making an egg dish from Bhutan called Gando Dachi. It's made with eggs, herbs, goat cheese, and it's a really delicious meal for breakfast. So I'm really excited to show you how it goes. So to start off our gando dachi, I have one cup of water boiling here on the stove. I had to bring it to a boil. Now I'm going to add four tablespoons of butter, which is a half stick. We're going to put that in there and whisk it around and allow it to melt. Then after that, we're going to add some goat cheese as well. So I'm just going to keep stirring this. It melts pretty quickly, the butter in here, and it's going to get cloudy and combined. All right. Perfect. Now, I have four ounces of goat cheese as well. I tried crumbled goat cheese the first time that I made this. But that was the only way I could find it. I didn't really like it that much, so then I went to a different store and I found a log of goat cheese. I would recommend using that instead, just because it melts a little bit nicer and makes the whole dish a little bit more creamy. Use my right hand to get it out of here. Hold on. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put this goat cheese in here and then we're gonna whisk that around as well. That takes a couple minutes to melt, but we're gonna want it to be completely melted before we move on to our next step. So I'm just gonna whisk this around in here. Now for goat cheese, that's what we're gonna use here in America. A lot of times in Bhutan, what they'll use instead is yak cheese. I don't live near any yaks, so no yak cheese available to me. I did look online, try to find it. It was a little expensive to import, so goat cheese is a really good alternative. It tastes delicious, and I'm sure that you'll enjoy this just as much, so. It's definitely still traditional and very good. All right, so our goat cheese has melted a little bit. Should be good. It's a lot easier if your goat cheese is at room temperature, too. All right, now I have four eggs here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack each egg into the pan and then I'm gonna whisk it up in between each addition and keep going until all the eggs are done. So, put in my first egg. We're gonna whisk this up and we're gonna keep going until all the eggs are in. Put in our third egg. Whisk that one up. Okay, we're gonna put our last egg in here. Whisk it up. And then I also have one half teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, Bhutan, they really, really liked um, very spicy food. So if you wanna be more traditional Bhutanese, you can put more cayenne pepper in there. You can put chili peppers in there. Um, I like a little kick in this, but nothing too crazy. So I was stuck with a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Now this is probably gonna heat up for about 10 or 12 minutes or so. Um, you're, want, you're gonna wanna keep going until the eggs look almost done. And then I have some herbs here and we're gonna add those herbs in as well. So just keep whixin, mixing it, whisking it up until they start to form a really fluffy scrambled eggs. Bhutan is the only country in the world that instead of measuring themselves in GDP, measures their country in GDH, which stands for Gross Domestic Happiness, and they are considered the happiest country in the world. So after stirring them on the stove for a while, these eggs are nice, fluffy, beautiful, when they were almost done, I put in four other ingredients. So I put in two tablespoons of chopped scallions, one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of oregano, and three quarters of a tablespoon of dill. If you want, if you really like dill, you can put in a little more. I put in one tablespoon the first time. I thought it was a little bit overpowering, so I changed it, but also, if you really like dill, you can still put one table. So I'm gonna scoop this into my serving dish here and give it a try. This is also, so normally in Bhutan, they eat this plain, but if you want, the other day I had it in between two halves of an English muffin and it was really delicious that way too. All right, give it a try here. I can see the steam, I'm scared to put it in my mouth. Okay, <laughs> blow on it. You can really taste the goat cheese, the herbs are delicious. And it's a really great breakfast. You can serve this up for your guests at breakfast. I guarantee it's gonna be a hit. Next week, if you wanna come back and join us for next week, we'll be cooking another recipe from Bhutan. And so I will see you then. Thanks. 
So if you all are really liking these videos and you want to see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.